Jen, can you hit the button on the screen? Hi, everyone. Sorry, we were just having a little technical difficulty, but we're ready to go. I'm Jen, and this is my daughter, Morgan, and we are coming to you live from our Perler lab. Thank you so much for joining us today. I don't know about you or where you're located, but it is a beautiful fall day here in Pennsylvania where we are in our Perler lab. So we wanted to do a fall project with you. So today we are going to, Morgan, make a fall tic-tac-toe game. A fall tic-tac-toe game. So Morgan and I love tic-tac-toe. We play it at almost every restaurant we go to, right? Even if we just get out a napkin and use a pen. So we thought how great that we're gonna make a tic-tac-toe game out of perler beads. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go over our supply list. When you signed up for the class, you should have received an email that has your downloadable printable pattern sheet. If you've been with us before, you usually get one, but this time it would be two pages. So it is, there we go. One is for the tic-tac-toe board, and then the other sheet is for the pumpkins and acorns, which we're going to use as our icons as we play the tic-tac-toe game. So you have your pattern sheets. Next, of course, it is our perler beads. So it's the 11,000 perler bead jar for this project. That's what we recommended. Um, also, you're going to need your pegboards. So it's the large, clear, square pegboard. These come in a two pack at Michael's, which is great. Then Morgan will use one, I will use one. Um, so you'll need this in order to fuse the beads. Ironing paper. Ironing paper comes both with the jar of beads. It also comes with the pegboards. And what's great about this? It's reusable. Reusable. So we will use this time and time again. We have a lot of extra sheets, you know, around our house. If we have friends over and we're doing a perler bead project, we always have extra ironing paper uh, because it comes with the jar and it comes with the pegboards. So we also have tweezers. The tweezers are optional. Morgan and I both like them. Um, sometimes I, I do just use my fingers, but it's entirely up to you. It's just personal preference. And then of course you need the iron. The iron is just a household iron. Um, most importantly in the iron, it is- No steam, no water. Right, no steam, no water in your iron. Um, it'll be set at about a medium heat. And when we get closer to the time to iron, we're just gonna ask that you grab an adult who can plug in the iron and help you fuse the beads together because it is hot. So um, with that being said, I think we're ready to go. Morgan and I, before the class started, we organized our beads and we put them in this tray. So sometimes even if we're at home, we'll just dump the beads on, on the surface of our, of our work surface. Um, just to just to make it a little bit easier, you can just grab them with your hand out of the jar. We just did this to make it a little bit easier. Um, the colors that we're using today are hot coral, cheddar, light brown, brown, tan, and kiwi lime. So those are the colors that we chose to use out of the jar. The best thing about perler beads is you can be completely creative with your project. So if you decided that you wanted to make your acorns a different color, you want to make a funky pumpkin and make it purple, you want to do a board, maybe solid black, that's entirely up to you. It's fun to get creative and especially when you use the hashtag, make it with Michael's Perler, Perler Beads, Perler Art Class, because we get to see how cool and creative you are with your projects. Today we're going to follow the pattern so that you guys can see how to do the project. And I am going to start with the board and Morgan is gonna start with the icons. So we'll make a few of the icons and then we're gonna play a game of tic-tac-toe at the end. Okay, so if you've never been with us before, you take your pegboard and you place it right on top of your pattern. And then the pegs line up in the colored circles and that indicates what color bead you're going to place on top of the peg. So you can go top, bottom, left, right. I usually like to do it by color. 
and I'm just gonna start at the top and place my beads right on the peg. What's great about Perler projects is we could walk away from this right now if we had to and come back and finish. So we're going to do a few icons with you in this class, but it's no big deal. If you don't get them finished while you're with us today, you can always come back and finish your project. Now these fall icons are so cute. You can do so many other things with them too. So once you make your tic-tac-toe project, if you wanna keep using the pumpkins and the acorns, you could put a little magnet back on them and, and make them magnets to use on your home refrigerator or maybe give them to a teacher or mom and dad to take to their office. You can use hot glue and put them on the front of a notebook. If you leave the hole open in the top of the project, you could get a fine piece of yarn through that and you can make, you could tie it on a gift bag or make a garland out of it for a decoration. On Thanksgiving, these would be great just on your table, wouldn't they, Morgan? Like just oh, spread yeah. on the table. Scattered. Scattered on the table. Table scatter. Right. So fun. How's it going, Morgan? Good. We already have a pumpkin done. So like I said in the beginning of the class, it is a beautiful fall day here in Pennsylvania. We would love to know where you guys are coming from today and what the weather's like. Now that it's September, we're starting to hit some cooler mornings, right? Just starting to feel like fall. I'm going to keep going with the green, I think. So Morgan, let's talk about fall activities. What's one of your favorite fall activities? Uh, corn mazes. Corn mazes. Um, we love doing corn mazes. Um, yep. Yeah. Halloween. So also <laughs> with, fall, with fall, 
we have friends here in the studio today and they had a good idea, which is take this to your tailgate party. So I was going to say football is a big thing for us in the fall. I'm sure a lot of you guys either watch football or go to football games. This would be great to take to your tailgate party. You're doing good, girl. So I looked up some history of the tic-tac-toe game today and found out that it started in the Roman Empire when people were using roofing tiles to play the game all the way back in 1300 BC. They do have a trivia question for anybody who wants to try and guess and put the answer in the Q&A. What was tic-tac-toe originally called? I found this out today too. So the answer, because this is a hard one, it was called knots and crosses. How about that? That's what I'm going like to say to you for now on. What'd you say? I was thinking like nine, nine square. Nine square. That's funny. Morgan is doing great on her pumpkin and acorn pieces. I'm finishing up the green. I'm gonna to move to the center pieces. And then we're gonna show you guys how to iron. And now that you have your 11,000 bead jar, when we're done with this, you're gonna need more projects and they are on perler.com. So if you go to perler.com, there are a lot of fun projects from sports to food, flowers, all kinds of different things you can do with the beads. And also you can find instructions on how to iron. So if you don't get to do the ironing with us today, or you need to come back and get a refresher, you can always go to perler.com and we have instructions on how to iron. So 
So as you see, I'm almost done with the board. We're gonna plug our iron in. I would say if you're about where we are, it's good to grab an adult now and have them start to heat your household iron. And as a reminder, no water, no steam. Got a medium heat setting and then we'll get ready to iron here shortly. Okay, now I just have my dark Great job. Okay, two more and we're ready to iron. Okay, so I'm just going to take the paper out from the bottom. And my iron is warm enough. And this is where the ironing paper comes into play. So take your ironing paper and you lay it on top of the project. And again, please grab an adult for this. Put the iron on top and start to iron now. Because of the shape of the board, you just need to make sure that your iron is going out to all the sides. And you can see as the beads start to melt, they come through and sort of change the color of the ironing paper. Start to see them more. I'm gonna make sure I get all the edges. And then I'm gonna take it and flip it over and the pegboard pops right off. And then with another piece of ironing paper, I can just lay it right on top. And I'm going to make sure I fuse the beads on the other side. So our game board stays intact. Now with this project, because we're not using a string or hanging anything through one of the holes, it's up to you how you iron. Some, some people like to close the beads, some keep them open, it's entirely up to you. I like to leave them open a little bit. And then you take it off the ironing paper. It is a little bit warm, it's gonna cool. I'm gonna put it over by Morgan and we're gonna switch and I'm going to grab her icon. And now we're gonna do the same thing. Put the ironing paper on top. Warm iron. And start to fuse the beads. You can see they're starting to melt. Top of our pumpkins. Make sure we get the bottoms of the acorns. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take our pegboard, flip it over, pegboard pops right off. I'm gonna iron the other side.
starting to drop a bit more and they got to cool just a little bit more, but she'll start to take those off the ironing paper. And like I said, they're a little bit warm. And there we have it. So this is our tic-tac-toe game. So Morgan and I are gonna play a game of tic-tac-toe. You can put in the Q&A who you think is gonna win. You need to hurry because it's probably gonna be me, right? So you're gonna be the pumpkins. acorns or the pumpkins. Okay, so I'm gonna be the acorns. So I need three and you need three, right? Yeah. All right, so let's play two games, okay? Wait, 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 you need three. Six. Six, yeah. sorry, right here. So sorry, <laughs> six of each. Okay, so go ahead. We'll play best mm -hmm. out of two games. Two games, two games. Two games. Yes. See if I have a tic-tac-toe strategy. Hmm. Uh, no winner. All right, let's see. We'll change it up. I'm going to win and do it this way. Morgan won. <laughs> Wait, show everybody. You won straight across. So Morgan is the winner of Tic-Tac-Toe. So that's so fun. This is fun because we can take it anywhere we go. So we just wanted to say thank you for joining us here today in the Perler Lab. Um, we appreciate you being here and doing the project with us. Uh, we'll be back again shortly, but please make sure you hashtag make it at Michael's, hashtag Perler. Perler Bead, Perler Art Class. We'd love to show all your projects to everybody here. We'd love to see how creative you are. We hope that you enjoy the rest of September into October fall. And we appreciate you being here today. So have a great weekend. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.